Hey, hey guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. Well, now that our summer salad series is complete, I felt like making a dessert. And in keeping with the theme of our recent vacation to Hawaii, I thought that making a macadamia nut cream pie sounded like something I would like to undertake. There are no other recipes that I could find out there. We did, however, see a macadamia nut cream pie in one of the little um, restaurants on the South Kohala Coast. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if I could make that keto. So this is my interpretation of a macadamia nut cream pie, but it is sugar-free and ketogenic and it's going to be super delicious. So come along with me and let's get started. So you're going to need a half a cup of chopped macadamia nuts. I have macadamia nuts here in a clear Pyrex measuring cup so you can see what I'm talking about. This is not the amount you're going to need. I just wanted to reference that you are going to need macadamia nuts for the mac nut cream pie because it's a macadamia nut cream pie. So to begin our cream pie, we need to make our crust. And this is going to be the baking part of the recipe and this will be the only baking part of the recipe because this is a cream pie. So in order to do our crust, we need one cup of blanched almond flour. And this is the brand I use. I buy the Kirkland. The reason I like blanched is because it doesn't have the holes of the almond on it. So you can tell a little bit easier when it's browned. So I'm just gonna put that in my dish. And to that, I'm going to be adding about two tablespoons of natural sweetener. And a half a cup of melted butter, which is one stick. And I'm just going to stir this all around until it's incorporated. Trying to get out the lumps of the almond flour because almond flour can be a little on the lumpy side. And I'm going to add just a tiny bit more almond flour because I don't think I got quite enough. Just about another two tablespoons. We want this to have enough st a stiffness to stick to the bottom of our pie pan. Just making sure that I got all the lumps out. Now I have my pie dish here and I have sprayed it with a little bit of avocado oil spray. This has enough butter that it really shouldn't be an issue, but it's just something I do anyway. And we're just going to work this around as evenly as we can with just our clean hands. Spreading out the crust so that we don't have a lot of holes on the bottom and bringing it up along the sides of our pie pan. This particular pie dish has a lovely fluted design that I'm hoping my crust will take on. And we are going to be baking this for about 12 minutes or so, just until it's lightly golden brown. Most of the time with cream pies, they're unbaked. Usually the shell or the crust of the pie is baked and then your other ingredients are put in and it's chilled. Okay, I think everything is fairly even. I'm going to put it into my preheated oven, and once again, that is 350 degrees. 
and it's going to be for about 12 minutes. You can see it's lightly golden and the edges are just right. So it's going to shrink down and fit in there as it cools. So we're done with the baking part. Okay, to begin our custard part of our macadamia nut cream pie, we need a saucepan on medium low heat. I'm going to be putting in two cups of heavy cream. There's one, and two. Now to our heavy cream, I'm going to add a little bit of my Madagascar vanilla bean powder. If you don't have this, you could use a regular vanilla bean, split in half, and the contents put into your pudding. If you don't have either of those two things, you could use some vanilla extract, but using real vanilla makes a large difference. So I'm putting half a teaspoon and I'm going to whisk it in. Now if you use a whole bean, you are going to have to sieve this after your custard has cooled and before you add anything else. And we are just going to let this get warm and let our vanilla bean infuse into our heavy cream. So while our heavy cream is getting warm and the vanilla bean is infusing into our heavy cream, we need in a separate bowl six egg yolks. These are just the yolks and you need six of them. And I'm going to finish breaking down the three that were still whole. And to our egg yolks, we need six tablespoons of natural sweetener. This is just erythritol, monk fruit blend, granulated. But you can use whatever type of sweetener, natural sweetener that you would like, or whatever you use on your ketogenic lifestyle. And we are going to whisk those all together. And we just want to keep whisking until it gets pale. And we want to try and make sure that our granular sweetener is getting well incorporated. Now I'm going to be doing one more additional step in here, and this is completely optional, but I would like my macadamia nut cream pie to have a slight um, buttery caramel vanilla flavor to it. So I'm going to be adding a little bit of Loran's candy oils. And these are just strictly oils. There's no sweetener in here. These are used for candy making. You can find them in the confectionery aisle of places like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I get mine on Amazon and it will be linked in the description box to our Amazon favorites. I'm going to be using a little bit of caramel and a little bit of pralines and cream. If you wanted to infuse your pie with a little bit of coconut flavor, that would be very tropical in keeping with the macadamia nuts. You could also do that. And you only need just like two or three drops because it's very strongly flavored. And once again, it's just the oil. There's no sweetener in these. Um, but CJ is not a huge fan of coconut, so I am not going to be flavoring my coconut. But if you are or your family is, you absolutely can do that. Now I'm going to let these sit for a second and check back on my heavy cream. Give it a stir. See how that is progressing. We need to let our cream warm for about five minutes or so, letting our vanilla bean infuse into it. And the warming of this is basically just to infuse your vanilla bean. And I'm going to check the temperature with my finger. It's not quite warm yet. 
So in processes such as these, and also in some of our other recipes like the Lemon Lush, our English Toffee, other recipes that we've had, um, this is not necessarily a labor intensive dish because you're really not having to do, it's not like bread dough where you have to knead it and knead it and punch it down and wait and then come back and do some more work. With this, it's more um, being patient and not letting things get too hot too quickly because uh, your cream itself can scorch if you try and do something on too high of a temperature too quickly. Also when we come to our next step where we are going to be tempering the eggs into the custard mixture and tempering means that you are allowing both products to come together in an even temperature so you do not cook your eggs and that your um, custard does not break down. So in processes like this, it's not super difficult. The most difficult part is being patient in waiting for things to um, get to the appropriate temperature in order to get a successful pudding product for our cream pie. Okay, our cream mixture is now warmed. I am going to um, turn off the heat for a minute and I'm going to remove it from the heat. So we need it to just sit here for another minute just to get cool enough so that we can begin tempering our eggs. So I'm going to begin the tempering process. Our cream mixture is cool enough to the touch for me to put my finger in it. That's kind of how you know. Clean hands are a best cook's tool. So I'm going to put about a quarter into our whisked eggs. And I'm just going to stir that. And this is good because nothing is happening to the eggs. We're not getting any kind of curdling or any difficulties because of temperature. I'm just going to continue to do this a little at a time until all of our custard ingredients are combined. Okay, now, now we are going to go back into our saucepan. Now that our eggs and our cream have been tempered together, we are going to put them back into our saucepan on a medium low heat and we are going to watch it as it thickens up. So there will be more watching. And at this point, a um, silicone spatula is your best tool. So the reason that we're using our silicone spatula at this point is, number one, we can continually monitor the bottom of our saucepan just to make sure that nothing is scorching or burning and that we have it at the appropriate temperature. The second reason is once our egg mixture reaches the consistency that we want for our pudding, it will start sticking to our spatula in a way that is very viscous and that's when we know that it has reached a point that it can then be removed from the heat, put into our bowl, and allowed to cool down to room temperature and then be refrigerated. You got that something that can't be seen. You got that one thing that's hard to come by. It's not your styling, it's not your jeans. No, what you got is deeper within. And your friends don't even know what you got. Me a joke. What does Mr. Flamingo say when he's angry? I've had enough. I'm putting my other foot down. <laughs> oh, okay. We can 
can see that it's starting to get a little bit thicker. It's starting to cling to the spatula a little more. I don't know if you can see that there at the bottom. It's starting to coat our spatula. We're nearly there. CJ asked me what happens if you take it off too soon, and I told him it might not set up. Starting to coat our spatula. I'm going to turn off my burner. Sleeves rolled up last night, and then you make that so style. My heart up. starts racing when I'm with you. When I'm with you, it's nicely coated our spatula. Okay, now I'm going to take our mixture and bring it over here. Got a clean mixing bowl. I'm going to pour our thickened mixture into our mixing bowl. And you can see it has coated the bottom of my saucepan. And now we're gonna watch this and stir it occasionally for the next five minutes or so. But before I leave it alone, I want to add the most important part of the dish, why this is called a macadamia nut cream pie. So I am adding a half a cup of chopped macadamia nuts into our custard mixture. And I'm just gonna stir that around. And we're just gonna let this slowly come down to room temperature before we go ahead and pop it in our refrigerator. And you're going to need to refrigerate the pudding part of your cream pie for about two hours. Minimum. Yes, you could do overnight if you wanted, but two hours minimum. I just put some cling wrap on our crust because it's just going to hang out here for the next little while while we wait for our pudding to be firm enough to fill our pie. I'm going to stir again. You can see that it's starting to get nice and thick. We're basically just allowing this pudding mixture to come to room temperature before we put it in the refrigerator, or at least closer to room temperature. Okay, our custard has reached room temperature and it's starting to set up. So in order to facilitate a smooth product on the surface, we want to take some clean wrap and just place it on the actual surface of the pudding and that is easier said than done. <laughs> but it helps prevent that kind of rubbery thing that you can get on the surface of pudding. So when you take it off, it, it helps make sure that you've got creaminess under there and it doesn't get that rubbery skin layer. So, I've got that down there. And we are gonna put that in the refrigerator for about two hours, maybe a little bit more. Okay, so our pudding, our custard for our macadamia nut cream pie has been sitting in the refrigerator for several hours and I've removed the film, so it's quite solid. It's a nice pudding texture. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of a stir and it's got our macadamia nuts in it, and I am going to put that into our cool pie shell. I'm just going to put it in the center, and then I'm going to spread it around. It's a very pretty custard. It's got our bits of macadamia nut in it, and it also has that beautiful vanilla bean that we put inside. Okay, so that is in our shell now. And now we are going to make a whipped cream topping, which is traditional for a cream pie. So we're just gonna set that aside. And in a bowl, we are going to combine three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm going to add some powdered 
monk fruit erythritol. You can use any kind of natural sweetener that you would like. I prefer powdered but because it incorporates very well. I'm going to put about two spoonfuls. I'm also going to put in just a little bit of vanilla extract. And we are just going to whip this until it's light and fluffy. So there's our whipped cream. And we're just going to apply a thin layer on the top of our pie. I'm just going to put that right in the center and start working from the outside. Just trying to get an even layer on our pie. really nice if you can leave a little bit of the macadamia layer showing on your pie and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to zhuzh it up just a little bit for our presentation and for serving and of course with all true desserts especially cream desserts and layered desserts it's going to get even better tomorrow so I just have a can of whipped cream here because I'm just going to make fancy little designs. Just in a couple of strategic areas. And you can do it however you wish. And then in those little fancy areas, I am going to place a macadamia nut. Just ones that I can find out of my package. And then everyone will know what this is. This is a macadamia nut cream pie. So there is our macadamia nut cream pie. I am going to cut a piece and I'm going to let CJ sample it. Hi. Time for another fabulous taste test. Yep, it's good. Tonight is macadamia nut cream pie. Yep. All right, let's see how it looks. Did you get a picture of it? Nope. Sorry, I'm already cut into it. I'm so okay. excited. All that matters is how it tastes. It's good. Creamy. Um, it needs to set some because we just got done with it. But it's good. I think once it all sets and gets hard, or whatever it does, whatever you call firm. it. Firm. Firm. Yeah. I think it'll be good. It's really creamy. It's really good flavor. And um, I think you achieved what you were trying to achieve. So good job, baby, because I know this was a little stressful for you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us again tonight, you guys. We hope that you enjoy the pie and that you're having a very nice summer. Please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. We would like you to be a part of our ketogenic family. If you would like to continue watching, there are more videos that will come up on the screen after the end of this one, because we would like you to stay with us as long as possible. You're very important to us and to our channel. If you need any macros, other recipe ideas, all the nutritional information, um, in the description box there's also our Amazon favorites and in there there will be listings for the products that were used in this video and other videos. So if you need any of those things, those can be found on our blog and that is cjsketokitchen.com. Also we are on social media, we are on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and a lot of times we will post teaser recipes 
or photographs of recipes that are current in case you've missed any of those. So please consider joining us on those social platforms as well. We hope that you'll come back and see us again. And until that time, 